New at five, our friends on the coast could see an active hurricane season. NOAA's forecasting an above average year. What could that mean for us? We're talking to the experts tonight. WTVA meteorologist Gabe Maynard is joining us live in Starkville with some information from those experts. Yeah, Emily, I talked to a state climatologist here at MSU about that hurricane season forecast. I also got to sit down with Chief Meteorologist Matt Lobhan today to get his opinion on that same forecast. NOAA is forecasting 17 to 25 named tropical cyclones this year. Four to seven of those storms could be Category 3 or higher hurricanes. The two forecasts that I've seen come out of Colorado State and NOAA. Both are high-end forecasts. A lot of storms, a lot of hurricanes, and a handful of major hurricanes. WTVA Chief Meteorologist Matt Lobhan says we should always pay attention during hurricane season, especially when storms enter the Gulf. For us, tropical systems typically produce tornadoes. It has everything to do with kind of the difference in the shear, the friction as the tropical system makes landfall. And so that's primarily what we see in this part of the state. You can't get flooding rainfall, and occasionally even the weaker ones can produce some wind damage like what happened with Olga a few years ago up in Corinth. I even had some damage in and around my house here in Tupelo with that one. Hurricane experts say there's a lot involved when it comes to forecasting an active season. So short-term transitioning from El Nino to La Nina, um, this Atlantic El Nino that we have um, causing warmer than average sea surface temperatures, also being in the Atlantic um, melt-to-decadal oscillation positive phase, all of those are keeping the uh, ocean super warm right now. Um, so a bunch of different factors of making it the perfect storm season. My concern as a state climatologist coming out of the drought that we had last year, because of the drought and the stress on pine trees, pine beetles have infested the trees. We have 12 and a half million dead or dying pine trees right now. And so if we do get a landfalling hurricane in Mississippi, and, and then those pine trees are well across Mississippi, you know, wind gusts of 45, 50, 55 miles per hour are going to bring those down. It's going to be a disruption to our electrical grid. Infrastructure is going to be damaged. Public, just because it's a very aggressive hurricane season, it is good to be prepared. Um, don't live in fear because of it. Um, just make sure, you know, that if you do have um, family or you do have, say, a vacation house down at the coast, to make sure that you just are aware of, you know, your insurance policies and having, you know, if you do plan to be down there, um, um, heed, you know, local authorities if you are there when a storm is coming um, and stay tuned to your local meteorologist. Hurricane season started June 1st. Peak season is late August through September and the season ends around November 30th. Live in Starkville, meteorologist Gabe Maynard, WTVA 9 News.